Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video I will go through how ground support really works. And the reason I say really works is because I've played this game for, I don't know, eight years now since it came out. And I thought I really knew how it worked, but it turns out that I know just as much about ground support as Jon Snow does. So, um, I spent basically my half my Sunday in testing and researching about ground support and uh, what I came up with uh, kind of blew my mind, so I will share this with you, so um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, but before throwing myself into that, some quick housekeeping. We release a new guide every Monday, so hit the subscribe button and you will get a notification every time we release something new. And if you become a Patreon, um, apart from our uh, everlasting love to you, you will also receive a new guide every second Thursday that is exclusive for Patreons, um, along with a lot of multiplayer content that we also release for our patrons. You can check it out in the description below. All right, so let's start with some definitions, because when I say ground support, uh, I mean the stat or the positive modifier in a land battle that's called air support and how you can affect that uh, modifier in any way possible. Uh, because when you have a land battle that's supported by airplanes, you basically have uh, three um, aspects that you think about of how you can directly affect a land battle with air. You have ground attack, and that's basically your tacticals or your CAS going on a close air support mission, attacking directly on the enemy uh, divisions, doing strength and organizational damage. And that's usually what you think about when you have CAS on a mission. This video will not be about that at all, um, maybe in a future video. And then the second thing, uh, how you can affect the land battle is with air superiority, and that's coming from your tacticals or your CAS, but also all your fighters above the air zone. And that's how you give a debuff to the enemy defense or breakthrough stat. I will make a video about that quite soon, but this video will not touch about that at all either. What I will talk about is how you can affect your own troops positively, and that's the attack, the hard, soft attack, hard attack, and breakthrough or defense of your own troops with airplanes on a close air support mission. And that's the stat you see that's called air support. So let's start with that. All right, so the first thing that really blew my mind when I did all this research on ground support or air support in a fight, basically how you can affect this positive stat, is that the damage output, the ground attack stat on your CAS or your tactical bombers doesn't affect this at all in a battle. Which means that basically you can stay with the early uh, basic frames of airplanes that you start with or tactical bombers with really low ground attack um, because it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't affect the, the positive stat, the modifier in the battle at all. It affects other things, but not this. So if you just want to have all those buffs, just make sure to cover the zone properly. Because what it does and how it's calculated is basically that there's a cap on 25%. That's the maximum cap. And you just need to fill out the maximum amount possible airplanes in that fight that you can have. So in this fight I have here now, I have a hundred and I have 55 planes helping me out on a CAS mission. And the maximum as you see is 162. And the 162 is um, determined by two things, the type of terrain, planes in this case, and uh, the number of enemy troops um, in the fight, the combat width. So the combat, combat width of the enemy and the territory determines how many planes I can have entered this fight. And if I fill that cap, so if I put 162 planes in that fight, I will get 25% buff on my own troops. So let's do that and see what happens. I send 300 casts in the fight instead. I unpause. And there we go. 25% air support in the fight. I have 162 out of 162 as a cap. So as long as I can sustain this in the fight, um, I will constantly have the maximum output, given that the enemy doesn't have anything that reduces it. Um, but let, I will not talk much about that in this video. So, 
um, this basically means that, um, and also an important fact uh, factor is that your CAS will basically prioritize the fights closest to the air base where they are based and the biggest fight the, with the largest combat width. So uh, as long as you have CAS uh, or tacticals enough to cover all the combat width in all the fights going on, you will get a maximum output on that modifier in those uh, battles. All right, so the second thing that I had no idea how it worked is that you can also affect this stat over the cap of 25% with modifiers from doctrines or advisors. So basically now as Germany, if I go down the battlefield support, which is the typical cast tree, and that doesn't do anything, that doesn't do anything. And here we go to ground support 20%. That flat stat, ground support 20%, will have a direct input on those 25%. So if I unpause now, you see it popped up to 30. So just by taking that doctrine. And if I continue down to the next one, let's boost it a little bit. You have another 20% down here. So now I'm up to 40%, and if I unpause, I'm now to 35% buff on breakthrough, soft attack and hard attack in this fight. Um, which means that if I also would have some generals or advisors, sorry, advisors that would give me the ground support, that could also affect this uh, battle. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you, which is also the thing that I found the most interesting about all this with ground support or air support in the battle, is that basically in a fight you have the 25% that your planes would give uh, as a maximum to everyone in that fight. Then you can add a layer of ground support modifiers on top of that with the doctrines that we just looked at, but that will only affect your own troops in that battle. Are you with me so far? So if I go to this battle now, I have a German division fighting three poles and I have the 35% that we just saw. I will now go to Italy and I will take a division, Italian, and I will join that fight. And now I will watch as the Italian joins join in the fray. So we have 35% on the German and we have 25% on the Italian because the Italians doesn't have the same doctrines researched. So, let's jump over to Italy. And this is where it actually really gets interesting, because Italy doesn't have any battlefield support doctrines, so they are lacking the modifiers. But they can get them themselves. So if I go down this tree as Italy, and I get the 20% ground support, uh, let's uh, go further down. Uh, there we go, and there we go. So now I have the same as the Germans. I am pause, and now I'm 35% as Italy as well. The Germans are 35%. But Italy has other interesting things in their country. They have, for example, this guy that gives 50% ground support advisor. And I add that. And now I'm on 38.7 as Italy, while as the Germans only have 35%. And this is kind of the point that if you play, especially in multiplayer, you maybe play a tank miner attacking uh, Russia, you play Hungary um, um, as tank miner following the German um, assault on, in Operation Barbarossa, you don't think, you, you think, I won't have any airplanes, I will just build my tanks and then I'll attack and it will ball fine because the Germans will give me all the air support I need. Yes. They will do, but they will only give you up to the 25%. You will need to add the doctrines yourselves and advisors yourself if you want to have all the extra buffs on top of that as well. The other way around in a multiplayer scenario, it could be that you play the UK and you don't plan to have any troops on the ground at all, you just play the air controller. Then it really doesn't matter how much ground support you have um, as the UK, because it's up to the receiver in the land battle to have all those modifiers, as long as you provide the planes enough to cover the combat width that we talked about. 
Yeah, so that blew my mind at least, and I hope you learned something new from this as well. As I said before, I will be making a guide on air superiority in the near future, but before that, for next Monday, the Real Boppers will make a economy guide on uh, efficiency cap versus factory output when it comes to military factories. Uh, and I also want to give a quick shout out to our Patreon Money Killer 189 who is keeping on giving us great ideas for content for these videos and especially for the Patriot videos. Thank you so much, man. And uh, yeah, that was everything. To uh, see you next week.